Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, shall we? Oh my goodness. We have an Octopode. It's gonna die soon. That's the way of it. But, I'll tell you what. People. What is up, my friend? Good evening. I am sorry to hear about your power. Is the weather acting up on you? I tell you what, I love Octopode. I always have. I've tried many times um, years ago when Octopode, Octopode was first a thing to make it work and die. But there's just something so much fun about playing it, even though it's ridiculous. Alex, what is up, my friend? Good to see you. Good evening. It's, it's really cool to, uh, you know, get rings going. Now, we actually have five rings with this octopode and we have a pretty interesting longsword equipped primarily for its stats but also to bat people if we need to we are 11th level where we started as a hedge wizard which i don't know if i'll ever do that again the spell books start with the hedge wizard is awful hey ori good evening good to see you my friend oh you're on vacation awesome ori Hope you're having a good time. Hope the weather is nice for you. Hedge Wizard Spellbook, not my favorite. And we also win Yored. Now, I've always liked Yored, but I haven't been best with it. But what's really cool is we're carrying that Black Torch. We're going to rouse the Idle Dead, which is, you know, just something that we normally do in, in real life. But the, the way that they have... Uh... Oh, I seem quieter than usual, Alex. Hmm, is this better? I hope that you guys can hear me okay. Uh, the way that... There we go. Uh, they have reworked your red is really interesting because your red will basically um, automatically animate the dead for you. It's like a passive ability. And so it's, it, it makes for just a, a, an interesting change-up to the playstyle. All right, uh, let's see. Cool, Alex. Sorry, I think the, my microphone was, like, tilted in the wrong direction or something. Thank you for letting me know. And as always, everybody, just if the music is too loud or I'm not loud enough or the volume is just off, please let me know. Oh, cool, people. That's some intense music, my friend. All right, so what do we have? Um, the the piety rework for your red is also really interesting because basically it's like you get more piety based on how big your army is. And I don't know if I have any more undead left. There There's some shadows over here, but um, can I recall my undead harvest? Nah, I don't have anything to recall. Okay, now what spells am I working here? I have blink, which is great call imp which is sus but we do have mephitic cloud ignite poison those are great conjure flame eh, and sticky flame whoa okay and slow we have a crazy spell book all right so where can we go with this character uh we can do the main dungeon i guess uh we're on dungeon seven all right so let's uh go down to the next floor and let's see uh Oh, I had a Herald problem. So we want to... Herald will be a problem for us. So maybe we go up and we try to look around and not find Herald. There's Herald. So the difficult thing about Herald is that he's got nets. So I need to just examine him and see how many he has. He has one throwing net left. I think he just picked it up, unfortunately. So what we want to do immediately for Herald is... He doesn't see us. Uh, because we're stealthy, we're a, an octopode. So I'm going to just conjure flame right here, and hopefully that stops him a little bit. Now, I can try to paralyze him. Now, that would be bad, though, if he got paralyzed and I couldn't do anything. Uh, so instead... Uh, let me... No, he's too far away for that. I can definitely, though, just magic dart him a bit. Oh my god. 
there's a centaur warrior down there. I had forgotten about that. Okay. Well, the stream title is called Octopode Explode because of situations like this. So I was okay to try to engage Harold right here, but uh, I might be dead. The centaur warrior is going to just annihilate me. So let me see what can I do. Uh, what's my chance to paralyze this dude? 31%? That's not good. Okay, we dodged somehow. Let's see if he got two shots off. So let's see if we can go up. Okay, we made that. We survived right there. That is ridiculous. Uh, but that means that dungeon eight just has to be entirely avoided. So we need to find a different staircase. I'm gonna actually just, for my own purposes, uh, exclude this staircase. So I don't make the mistake of going down it. I need to find a different way to get down that's not in their line of sight and then find another way to go down again. And here we go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, people. That sucks. Hopefully your power comes back on. I'm going to get this gold. All right, and then we're just going to go down because I can't take a centaur warrior and herald. Oh, that's right, manticore. What a delight. Okay, uh, we move over here. Oh, we have barbs in. All right, fantastic. Uh, right. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. I mean, in a really bad spot. Uh, we got hit. We're barbed from the mana core, so we can't really move. I can fear away these guys. I could probably... Um, successfully like if I sticky flame the priest and then sticky flame this guy that should actually work and then there we go so we killed them both and we got ourselves some undead servants so that's good there's Harold okay um, let's go tell our guys to fight Harold and then I'm going to try to mephitic cloud kind of, ah, uh, he's still too far away. Here we go. So we're going to Mephitic Cloud. Our zombies can't be hit. I got hit. I forgot about that possibility. Um, I'm going to move out of it. And then uh, he's confused. So just have my zombies attack Harold somewhat. And then, man, the, oh God, why is this centaur warrior being such a jerk? He really is. He keeps coming in tandem with Harold. It's like I could... I feel like I could maybe handle one, but just not both. It's not possible. So we're going to move over here. Uh, yep. 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 Okay, we got killed. I mean, I... <sighs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. Centaur Warrior. All right. I could have survived that if I just ignored that floor, but the mana core on the next floor, there were just too many targets that were too difficult. So here's what we do. We close it. We start again. Octopode explode. All right. We're going to go back to it. We're going to try this again. <laughs> I'm not going to be a hedge wizard again. That's just a huge mistake. I think my only play uh, to have any chance is to just no do what I know, which is to be a conjurer, and then go into my skills. Okay, and uh, we're going to turn off dodging and stealth and just go with this. What spells do I have? I got magic dart. Um... Searing Ray we need, but we have to wait until we can get it. Unknown Altar. Yeah, right. Um, we need to pick a good god this time. Your red is fantastic in the sense that, um, you know, you're going for what they call the snowball. And I like that. Except my, my central issue with it is that uh, the Octopode never snowballs. 
Like, I'm never going to be... <laughs> hey, hey, Graham Dixon. What is up, my friend? Good to see you. I'm never going to be strong enough, I feel like, with the Octopode to be like, yep, and it's snowballing here. Um, it feels like the game is just snowballing against you as an Octopode, not like you're creating situations where value is just rolling in. All right, and uh, I'm just going to wait, wait, hit, rest. I'm going to just keep walking away from that python. Okay, and then now we can kill it. Great. All right, we're going to memorize Searing Ray right off the bat. Yes, please. And that's a good spell. All right, so now we have a good spell. The thing about Hedge Wizard is you don't have a good spell. Oh, okay. Um... That dart slug is really slamming me. There we go, got it. You got magic dart, and then it starts getting really funky. Searing Ray is just so good for carrying you. Okay, this is too many things right now. I'm gonna use this giant cockroach to run interference on the slug. Oh God, that's this is even worse. Okay, I gotta go up here. Man, that is, that dart slug being able to slip that shot in there while the guy was moving was very poor for me. Um, I have a potion I could try to use. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just cast Searing Ray through. Okay, and we were able to kill one target. No God, no dart slug, stop it. Oh, I got way too greedy with this character. I was just rolling around feeling good. I'm just going to keep... Oh, you finally hit me? Darn, don't do that. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, Space Cookie. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? All right. Okay, we killed that guy. And there's that dart slug. And I have one... All right, I got to drink the potion... No, oh, it was a potion of curing. That at least gives me a chance. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to have to try to constrict and kill that guy. We did it. <laughs> that was ridiculous. So we got lucky. We had the potion of curing. Doing great, Space Cookie. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I saw you were playing some RimWorld. I hope your uh, colony is doing beautifully, Space Cookie, in RimWorld. Let's bust them up. All right. Arrows. I might get some stones. I don't have anything against it. All right, come on over. Hey, hey, Victory. What is up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. I'll tell you what. Being an octopode is no joke. Found an escape hatch. The old Dungeon 1 escape hatch. So what do I have? I have nothing. I have found nothing. All right, so we should pick something up as a weapon. There's clubs. Uh, and there's a dagger. All right, I'll take a dagger, sure. Oh, rat. All right, um... Go to that dagger. Get that dagger. Wield that dagger. Give us a knife. Give this octopus a knife. Let it happen. How's a Vernum going, Victory? I'm blasting this guy. There we go. Bam. Bam. Take that. A sling. Interesting. Oh, I bet your colony is doing well. Space Cookie. Mine is starting to face real adversity, and I'm getting scared. I'm 
running out of food. I'm getting raided by too many things. We got problems. Bam, bam. Uh, let's see. Let me try to put a beam right through you, and then we'll just persist it. There. You made it out of the pit, Victory? Or you mean you reached the, the main city of Avernum or whatever? Oh, Potion of Curing. Great. Oh, you, you're hooked and you reached level 28. Oh, awesome. I know, Victory. It is just such a good game. I look forward to playing some more. I've got no scrolls, but I've got a dream. Is there a spell that I want? Dazzling Flash is okay. Fulminant Prism is stronger. We don't have enough magic. We're just going <laughs> to... Oh, boy. Yeah. This worm is going to get all his health back. That's fine. Space Cookie, I did. Thank you so much. I saw that just as I was closing um, my browser. I was like, oh, Space Cookie, thank you. You are so generous. I did get it, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it as always. Yep. Yes, we killed the worm. That was... I wasn't sure. You recently removed the label from a can of Reed ginger ale, and the can was for Uvgo Vodka? Hilarious, Tantalus. Well... I don't know what effect you got out of that drink, but I hope it was the right one. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did it. All right, what do we have? I finally have some scrolls. Okay, let's do this, people. It's the Dungeon 2 Scroll Readathon. What do we got? Amnesia. All right, that's... We don't want that. Abort that. All right, what's this? Noise. Hilarious. And vulnerability. And there's Identify. What's this? It's a Potion of Might. Okay. We're making progress. Octopode progress. That's level four. All right, how are we doing on our spells? Good. We're going to memorize... Maybe we memorize Mystic Blast? I'm not sure. That's awesome, Victory. I, I haven't really messed around with that too much. I don't have the money to like uh, have people in the town to train me, but I'm looking forward to doing that, to maybe trying to learn some new skills. Uh, why don't you describe Prism is the one where it's like, right, it's a bomb, so you leave it, and then it makes a bomb, so that's really good. And then this is... Detonates a crackling sphere of destructive energy. It will hit all nearby monsters with physical force, knocking them back. If damage is done. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Space Cookie. So the way it works is like... Um, you start... In this game, when you start as a spellcaster you get a spell book and it has spells that you can memorize once you reach the proper experience level to be able to cast them. So for example, Fulminant Prism and um, Iskenderan's Mystic Blast are level four. Now I, I just hit level four so I can memorize these spells and then cast them, but you'll see I have a failure percentage um, that's in red and then in purple and these are hard spells for me to cast, so 41% of the time I would fail casting Fulminant Prism, for example. And that's terrible. The failure is color-coded, and it scales up, basically, meaning worse and worse um, effects happen to you for miscasting the spell. And so you don't want to mess around with things that have red or worse effects, generally, unless they're lower-level spells. 
So I'm not, I can memorize them, but I can't really cast them. So it's not a, a huge worry. Here's an identify scroll. I'm gonna immediately read this and we're gonna identify that potion. The reason you wanna use identify potion scrolls as fast as you get them on your potions um, is because there's nothing worse in dungeon crawl than dying with something unidentified that you could have used to save your life because it's a permadeath game. Oh, there's an orc priest. That's unpleasant. Okay, we got him. Now, there's a bunch of orcs here. We're going to kind of run away. Uh, all right. And I'm going to go over into this hallway. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to now... Uh, now that they're all in a row... Hey, Big Bucket. Good evening, my friend. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Absolutely, Space Cookie. So... Uh, when you level up in this game, you get to pick every, well, your first, at level three, you get to pick a stat that you want to increase, and you pick a stat that is going to help you with your skills, and then you try to find items and things that will help you with your skills, but it's very important to level up as fast as you can, so that you are strong enough to survive. Oh, thank you, people. I appreciate it. You know what, people? Even if it was a spoilery song in Metal Gear, the stories are so crazy that um, I don't know if it would spoil it too much. Hey, Drayden Gaming. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Good to see you. So now that they're all in the line, I'm going to cast Mystic Blast. Or I'm sorry, um, Searing Ray. Now, Searing Ray, you can see I'm aiming it, and I can hit all of these guys with the spell right so i cast searing ray it was like a laser beam uh, like cyclops's eyes almost and i just shot right through those guys now searing ray is cool because it costs two to initially cast it but then you can maintain the ray for only one magic point per round that you maintain it up to a maximum of three rounds i believe and then it intensifies in damage when you maintain it. So I'm going to maintain my ray and just shoot down the hallway and then kill that other orc. So now most of the orcs are dead. Now this other orc wants to come in and play. Yes, um, Drayden, this is uh, a classic roguelike. It's a single player RPG. I'm an octopus with this character. Oh, this guy's got boomerangs. Oh, no. He's throwing boomerangs at me. We got a problem. I'm a spellcaster. And so I'm going to cast Searing Ray on this guy. It's my most powerful spell. We'll, we'll shoot him, and then we'll maintain the ray, and we kill him. All right, great. So we just killed a bunch of orcs. <laughs> hey, good, people. I think that's about right, Drayden. This is a very difficult game. It's permadeath. If you die... Uh, you got to start over with nothing. And I'm playing as one of the harder species to win the game with. I'm a sentient octopus. And it's extremely difficult. You have less hit points. You can't wear armor. Uh, <laughs> they don't have the best aptitudes. The list goes on. But they're a lot of fun. All right. And we're just blasting some snakes, apparently. Okay, let's see. So we got three scrolls of fear. That's a lot of scrolls of fear. Scrolls of fear are very, very good. They're fantastic utility items to have. All right. So we found a shop on Dungeon 3. That's interesting. This is a Vorpal hunting sling. Okay, I'm going to get this. I'm going to start just shooting that slug, and we killed it. Now, let's see what's on sale with this. Ooh, there's a staff, too. Okay, let me actually get this staff first. It's a staff of air. Well, we're going to pick it up. And let's see what's in here. Wow, okay. There's an artifact crystal mace, a runed war axe. Um, oh, cool. Okay, Drayden. It's from the, uh, that name is from the Calamity mod in Terraria. Alright, 
so I'm going to... Oh, that's awesome, my friend. I'll be playing Terraria tomorrow on stream. But just the uh, vanilla game. I have never beaten it, so I'm trying to uh, beat the game for the first time. I'm going to save up for this. So I'm going to push... Uh, I'm going to put it on my shopping list and, and save up for it later. See if this is a good item. All right. Now, that sling I got seems pretty sick. I just need to get some stones. And I'm going to quiver my uh, sling. Oh. No, not magic dart. Yeah, fire. There we go. All right, here we go. Bam. All right, we got that guy with our sling. So there's a pair of boots, which would be fantastic, except we don't have feet. We just have tentacles. So there we are. A sling is kind of unnecessary, now that I think about it. I mean, it's cool. It saves resources, but magic dart just hits much better than a sling for me. All right, let's... Uh, let's see, are we done with Dungeon 3 yet? Almost. Ooh, look at all these scrolls. Goodness, they were very generous. All right, let's read some scrolls. We got... A, oh, my God. Uh... Okay. Um, I'm kind of blown away here. Okay, people. Take care, my friend. So, we just got an acquirement scroll on Dungeon 3. And... We got some really good choices here. Uh, <laughs> this is very hard. The ring is probably what we take because nine magic points is no joke. It would be doubling our magic reserves. Magic points are fantastic. Three strength is also fine. Um, and being able to evoke flying, okay, whatever. That's... Not bad. Remember, an octopode can wear eight rings, so a ring like that is very good for us. Now, this kite shield would be down the road for us, but it does have strength plus two. It's much less likely that we go for it. It's an interesting question, Space Cookie. So you asking, like, what experiences I had to go ahead and, and play live on YouTube? You know, what? I, I don't know. Um, I, I would say this. I would say I've played video games for my whole life, and uh, I just thought of making a video, and I really enjoyed it. And so I enjoyed, like, you know, having people watch it and give me feedback. And then my buddy... Uh, who's always on uh, Fading at the Edges, he was like, you should just stream on Twitch for your videos uh, as well. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try that. And I tried it, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'll give you an example. So one example is I just kind of tried it just to see if I would enjoy it. And then I started playing um, Dungeon Crawl on stream. It was the first game that I played on stream because it was the game that I, I knew... Um, very very well uh, and I was comfortable with it and so I was just like you know I'll, I'll try this out and what I learned immediately which I loved was I did not know the game as well as I thought I knew the game and I got to meet a lot of cool people who enjoy the game too and we could chat about it and I got so much better as a player at this game from uh, learning from other people who are watching and it was just so much fun to chill out and relax and chat with people that I kept doing it. And then I started playing different games to see what it was like. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely pros and cons to both, as Drayden is saying, uh, for sure. I started with Twitch. That's what I started with. 
Now, this book of dangerous things, let me look at this. Hey, Drayden, thanks for following, my friend. Oh, absolutely, Space Cookie. You know, the craziest um, thing about the dungeon crawl stuff, the old, like, all of my videos from the very beginning, Space Cookie, are posted uh, to, you know, a couple of years ago when I first started, and you can really see a change in how I was doing things, uh, and as I learned and, and leveled up in terms of my knowledge of, like, I have a long way to go still, but I mean, I've, I've made a big changes since the way I used to present things and on and on and on. Yeah, I enjoy it too, Space Cookie. That's why I use Restream um, to stream to both at the same time. Now, this book of Dangerous Friends is would give me Summon Guardian Golem, which is nigh on useless, uh, in my opinion. However... Orb of Destruction and Spellforge Servitor are insane. That being said, I getting those would be predicated on me surviving for a very long time, um, and I don't like my chances of surviving if I take something like that here. I think, the, for me, the only two choices after really looking at all these options would be to take this ring or the gold. This is a lot of gold. It's 1,100 gold on Dungeon 3, and I have 108. Now, the only drawback to taking the gold is I've only found one place to actually spend the gold, and it was at that shop. Th there might be an item I get there that's good, but really it's just that mace, and I almost have enough for it already. So for me, the choice is going to be this ring. This would give me the ability to cast more spells and as a spellcaster your magic points are your lifeblood so i'm going to do it oh actually look, look look at the quote it's an oscar wilde quote that's hilarious a ring of gold and a milk white dove are goodly gifts for thee and a hempen rope for your own love to hang upon a tree oh oscar wilde you joker here take a ring and a noose. Okay, um, we're gonna take it. All right, perfect. And then we will wear this. I'm gonna put it on, and you can see immediately. I'm gonna rest to get. We just like doubled, just about our magic reserves. That's so good. It is a crazy quote, isn't it, Space Cookie? Thank you, my friend, for the compliment. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I don't. I had no idea what I was doing when I started firing it up. I just tried to be uh, relaxed and positive, and uh, you know, I think that goes over well because it's not. It's not common to you know, the way that everyone else does things. But it's also just not for everybody. Okay, so uh, let's read some other scrolls. We got teleport. Okay, cool. Brand weapon. Um, I don't want to rebrand my hunting sling. I'll put it on my dagger. Um, a spectral dagger. Actually, that's kind of cool. And then I'll read... Another one, magic mapping. Enchant armor. Well, we don't have any armor. And immolation. All right, awesome. So now we have... Uh... Oh, Space Cookie, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. You are so generous. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and of course, Space Cookie, you can always... Um ask in the discord or you can just dm me uh for any questions you have about uh streaming setup or anything like that i'd love to uh give you any advice i can which my advice is pretty small but you know how that goes hey hey cowboy what is up my friend good to see you i'm uh, just trying to survive here um 
Good night, Space Cookie. Thanks so much for stopping in, my friend. Have a great night. Um, Cowboy, I'm just trying to survive as an octopod, and it is really, really difficult, but Cowboy, what we just found was a scroll of acquirement on Dungeon 3. We got ourselves a, a pretty nice artifact ring, and we've actually gotten a glut of scrolls, and so I feel decent, but it can all be washed away in a moment as my tentacles fail to get the spells that they need. And we got a staff of air, but I don't think I have any spells that are even air magic. Oh, okay, great, Space Cookie. Yep, yep. Let's blast him. Blast, blast, blast. Kill that iguana. Okay. See, this is what's so great about having all these new spell points, is you just are much less afraid of uh, getting overwhelmed by enemies and running out of magic. It's it's a huge problem for early um, spellcasters. Oh, that's Eustachio. Honestly, I think I could take Eustachio. <laughs> you know, Cowboy, it's such a great question, my friend. My plan right now um, is Spellcaster. I, I mean, I feel like I'm just going to try to nuke stuff. I don't know if it's going to work, but... I'm going to... Um, I'm going to try to just... Searing Ray, Ustachio. It, it should work. There we go. Okay, so we killed Ustachio, which is amazing. However, um, there's an ogre and an orc wizard behind. So that's not amazing. I might have to just scroll of fear uh, the ogre. I have three of them. I can take an ogre if it's far enough away, but this ogre is... Uh, got a giant spiked club and so I don't I know I don't like it I mean I love l leveling up as much as we just did against Ustachio like that's awesome but I think it's time to just fear him away and I'm going to move away the wizard might be on me and I'm okay with that I'm going to just pop around the corner oh he confused me alright I have curing. I'm going to cure and get out of here. Uh, let me just see if I can... Oop. Like... Man, I'm not hitting this guy. There we go. Okay. That wizard almost took us down, but we were able to get him eventually. He turned invisible, confused us. Very annoying, but we got it. All right, so the ogre is still over here. We have to be very, very careful if we can... Okay, there's another wizard. I don't mind fighting a wizard, but yeah, there's that ogre again. And what I need to do right here is I'm going to just Searing Ray, um, the ogre, and what we're going to do is just see if we have enough Okay. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is he killed us in one shot. Um, that's too bad. Okay, thank you, cowboy. Hey, Weebit, what is up, my friend? Good evening. Are you driving, Weebit? Oh, God. I know, Space Cookie. The ogre was like, no, you do not win. All right, well, that is octopode life octopode life indeed okay so what if yep i'm gonna turn it around hey safid 
What is up, my friend? I know. I got so greedy, Safid. I was like, I got him. I got him. I was not ready, Safid. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try this again. But this time, we're going to go with um, my good buddy, The poison. Wow, wee bit. Okay. Cowboy, next time I'll do Transmuter. I, I went for a Venom Mage because I love it. Um, so you're on the West Coast, wee bit. That's crazy. You're, I mean, I hope LA is good. What we're going to do is we're going to just try to poison things as much as possible and see how that works for us. All right, so, bam, run away. Get the dagger, got it. Okay, here we go. I'll try transmuter. What's the idea with uh, transmuter? I really don't have much transmuter experience to be perfectly honest with you. All right. It's disgusting wee bit. <laughs> Touche. I've never been. I do too, cowboy. I love the poison magic spellbook. Oh, there's a magical short sword. That might be the what saves us. We might be able to sneak this. All right, here we go. Poison dart is definitely not as long range as uh, magic dart. <laughs> But it's still good. Ooh, yeah. We give me that short sword of flaming. Here we go. Now we're talking. All right. Let's not waste a scroll of acquirement like I did last time. Yeah, I don't like this room. I'm gonna back away. Yeah, S Safid. I think that's probably the way of it. I like what you guys are saying. I like what you're saying. I'll try that after I die, which will probably be very soon. All right. Now I'm going to go... Well, if you're sleeping down there, buddy. Level two. How about that? All right. I don't want to fight the endoplasm, really. Um... Poisonous Vapors? Yeah. Oh, they're right on me. Okay, right. Oh, God. Got him. Please die. Thank God. Yeah, that time difference is crazy. Man, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, just poison vapors and just live it up. Poison vapors, everybody. You're about to see this spell showcased. Oh, I can't poison vapors the endoplasm. Probably because he doesn't breathe, but I can definitely uh, just hit him with uh, poison dart. Take that. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What we're going to do is just roll down here. There it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Poison dart. Poison dart. Come on, bat. Come closer, bat. There we go. Bats can be really hard. Well, you guys know way better about me than about transmutation. I haven't messed around with that too much.
I think I, I've had statue form before, and I, I've had spider form and, like, blade hands, but I don't know if they took out blade hands or if that's still in the game, but it used to be really good. Do -ba -do 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 -do. All right, awesome. So there's dungeon one. We are second level, and let's go ahead and read some scrolls. Identify. Fantastic. What do you got? Potion of flight. Not very useful. Vulnerability. And fear. Okay. We're going down. All right, there's a dart slug. How about poison? Poison. What do you think about that, Mr. Slug? Got him. Make me smarter, please. It's interesting that as the uh, conjurer, you just get more intelligence than as the venom mage. You get a little bit more strength with this build. Take this. In your face. All right, here they come. Look at all that money. God, such a nice gold pile. Ooh, identify. Well, I always enjoy that. Oh, Alex, is the stream stuttering, my friend? It seems to be running okay for me, but I can't always tell on my end. Alright, I'm gonna... Hmm, what's my best fruit here? I'm gonna move over here. I can get um, Mephitic Cloud, which we will definitely do. Okay. And then I'll just kind of bop this dude. Walk away, he's dead. Hey, Crispy Bacon, what is up, my friend? Good evening. Playing Astroneer again? I think you remember... I remember you in the past telling me that you were playing that game. That is Jessica. That is too bad. I'm going to just poison her as much as I can and hope that she doesn't make it. I have nothing that I can evoke. Um, please die from the poison, Jessica. She's, she's really getting hurt from the poison. There she goes. Oh, that's awesome, cowboy. Yeah, I love the uh, hit points on Ogre. Man, that robe of willpower looks nice, Jessica. Too bad we can't wear clothing. All right, here we go. Take that. Oh, we're getting some scrolls. Ooh, there's a ring. That's how you do it with an octopode. You get that ring. Give me that ring. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys are easy. You just can't let them get on you. Like I did. There we go. Yeah, it's level four. Thanks, buddy. Give me that ring. You guys are all having the same issue? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, my um, dungeon crawl has been hiccuping a little bit, which is completely bonkers. Let me see if... Give me a second, let me check something. It's one of those moments where it's like... Is Steam downloading something in the background on me? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh man, Ring of Flight? Bah! That's the worst. I was so excited. And then it was a Ring of Flight. Well, let me know if anything I can do, uh, if anything patches it up. Maybe my internet in my area is just being funky. I apologize, everybody. This You wouldn't think that this is the game that would uh, cause the stream to stutter, 
given you know what this is. Alright, I'm going to move my mouse over here. Welcome back, my friend. Alright, and I'm just going to go over here. Oh, it's an adder. Okay, we can get you. Got it. Kobold, sure. That's interesting, Alex. I wonder why that is. Must it there's something going on with Oh, oh, look at this. This is funny. Well, we just got Sif Muna's Tome of the Glacier and Feathers. So we got Summon Lightning Spire, Metabolic and Glaciation, and Conjure Ball Lightning. Oh great, wee bit. I hope I can get it to fix itself. I closed some stuff, you know, like, but I don't, I don't see what the issue would be. Plus one pair of gloves. This is a web-based, browser-based game. It should be easy to run and stream. You never know, though. Okay. So, from this point... I don't want to w worship the random altar. I have some scrolls to read. Let's do it. Immolation. Fog. Teleport. And enchant weapon. Uh, get my dagger going. And what is my dagger? It's just a plus one dagger. Oh, it's not brand. I should have put it on my short sword. That was a mistake. Hey, cowboy. Thank you, my friend. I try to keep it nice and calm. Honestly, the the game itself is running slow. I wonder if there's something on the dungeon crawl server side that is uh, debilitating it. All right, I'm going down. Oh, it's a room full of fun. All right, I have Mephitic Cloud. How good am I at casting it? Very bad is how I am. All right, let's see if anybody wants to come party. Okay. They do. They all want to come fight. All right. Um... I'm going to take the cockroach up the steps then and just kill it. And I'm going to go down a different staircase so I don't get annihilated by that orc with an axe just yet. Not ready for it. I know, lightning spire is great. <laughs> Thank you, Tantalus. That's what I'm going for, my friend. It is beatable, um, Drayden. So what you're trying to do is acquire the orb of Zant, who is an evil wizard, at least as far as I believe, who has hidden his prized magical artifact in a dungeon that he created and is guarded by all kinds of enemies. And you're trying to get down there, get the orb, and then escape the dungeon with it. And then if you do that, you win the game. Now the ice beast right there is a disaster because uh, I don't believe he cares about poison. Yeah, he's resistant to poison. Which means I can't poison vapors him, and so I can't really do much to him from far away. And uh, he hits like a truck. I do not have resist cold. I don't really do fire damage. I gotta go. People do speed run it, my friend. People try to get um, very fast, like, time to beat the game uh, in terms of just minutes and seconds, and then they also try to get in-game turns time to be really, really low when they beat the game. And those people are amazing. They're cut from a different cloth. I need to go up the steps, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. Oh, look at this. 
This guy just had a plus three artifact hunting sling that gives you six intelligence, corrodes, and is vorpal. Now, I'm going to pick it up. But the thing I want to check is... Uh, I'm going to rest. It may corrode you when you take damage. I think it's worth wearing this just for the six intelligence. It's so much intelligence. Corroding isn't as big of a deal either for the Octopode just because I'm not wearing armor. Um... So the, the corrosion effect, I don't think, is as diabolical. I'll just take the intelligence. And if you look, for example, then, uh, now my fail rate has gone down on, all, like, my spells. OTR is getting closer. Let me just go ahead and uh, go into my... I'm going to turn off transmutation. I don't think I need it for anything else. I'm just going to focus on poison magic. I'm also going to turn off spell casting. I'm just going to put everything in poison for now. Yeah, cowboy, I think this sling is pretty good too. I'm down with it. All right, let me see here. And we'll fire shoot shoot yeah I agree I mean and it just does good damage like I don't know if I found any sling stones let me see about that no I haven't found any sling bullets specifically but this is still good Yeah, I like just killing stuff with slings for no reason. I'm telling you, um, Drayden, I don't think so. It's free to play, too. So if you just Google Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, you, get to, you can play this uh, either online or offline for free and see what you think of it. Oh, a spell book shop. Oof. Look at all this stuff. Man. Iron shot. Oof. There's blade hands. Fireball, starburst, ignition. Yep. Wow. There's Blink and Stone Form. Hey. Oriok, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Is it just... Is it better on Twitch at all? Alright, I'm gonna... See about the Everburning Encyclopedia. Man, these are all good. I definitely want that. And this. And then... I mean, just put these on all in the shopping list there. Scroll teleportation, that's terrific, is what it is. Man, we're just like one shot and stuff with our Vorpal Sling. Now, it's all going to be fun in games until we get hit and it corrodes us and it results in our death. But until that point, love this item. Oh, the Ice Beast. Forgot about the Ice Beast. The Ice Beast is going to be uh, tricky for us no matter what. I don't even know if there's a spell that I could find. If I could summon a Lightning Spire, sure, but that's not a thing. So... I'm going to have to just uh, skip on that scroll of fog and go down. Hey, hey. Fading, good evening. Oh, 
I see, Alex. Oh, we're poding. We're poding hard. I've already died twice. Howler monkey. Bam. Take that, Howler Monkey. Amulet of Guardian Spirit. That's pretty much useless. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, that is too bad. I'm sorry to hear about all that, everybody. I don't know what's going on. I, mean, I could maybe restart my computer, but... Um, it's... Oh, Jesus. That is a centaur. We need to evacuate. Centaur... Maybe with some poison, but right now... I don't have enough health for that game. Hmm. Centaur. Be gentle on me, Centaur. I'm just one man, Centaur. One octopode man. All right, what what scrolls do I have? I do have fog. I mean, there's like a crazy possibility. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. It's just that the the entirety of the internet is going poorly. Hey, Net Dancer, what is up, my friend? What are you thinking about using in the near future? If you're trying to post a uh, link, my friend, um, the oh man, that's terrible, Alex. I don't know what's going on. Are you talking about restream, um, Net Dancer? Ah, yes, 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 my friend. I love it. Uh, it. It's fantastic, Net Dancer. It it lets me easily stream on both. I'm actually on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, as well as D Live. <laughs> Isn't that true, Tantalus? God, that's a good point. You can ask for gentle. Centaur, don't don't shoot me. No, stop being there. Oh God, he's not stopping. I gotta get away from that guy. Yeah, net dancer. It's very uh, super easy to set up. Oh, God. Is there a way for me to put enough poison on this guy? I'm going to go fog. Ow. killed him. Oof, I hate to use my fog scroll like that, but he was preventing me from really exploring this level. Uh, and we were able to just get him with poison and then hide in the fog. It was dicey, but it worked out eventually. Alright, this guy should die. That is another centaur. 
And I am not happy about that at all. I'm going to leave this guy in the way. Ah. Ah. Oof. Almost. I might be dead, actually. No, it's not lethal, but... And an ice beast. Yep, 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 yep. Just another day. <laughs> oh, man. What a ripoff. That centaur... A second centaur came in. I mean, come on now. All right, there's fog again. Ah, vampiric dagger's interesting. All right. Let's see. Where are we at with spells? I have Mephitic Cloud. I'm going to get Toxic Radiance for sure. Yep. Let me just see if there's anything back there. Nope. Okay. All right. So now we got to explore a little bit more of this area, but whatever. I need to find a way down that's not there. Okay. Well, no, I don't want to use an escape hatch. There's got to be another way. There it is. There it is. I knew it. No, don't do it. Do that. Yep. All right. Make sure that ice beast isn't lurking around. Okay. All right. Let's use this staircase. Take that. There's a spell book. Love to see it. Iguana. Just doing iguana things. And we got Call Canine Familiar. <laughs> yeah. I might do a little bit of air magic here just to help with Mephitic Cloud. Yeah, there's a centaur again. It's almost like, can I... What I would need to do against that centaur is exploit line of sight somehow. Trick that guy. But they're really hard to trick. Now, he walked away. Let's get this wand. What do we got? Wand of Flame? Not bad. Okay. Well, if the uh, frame drops and everything keep happening, and it's significant... Um... No, 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 don't do that. Uh, what we'll do is I will just restart. Oh, God, he killed me. Well, the fog didn't work that time. <laughs> That's too bad. All right, well, as we said, what we do... We're going to try again, but we'll try as Transmuter. Okay. So what do I do as a Transmuter? Well, now I'll do it. Why not that god? Yeah, Fading, it is rough. It's like, Poison is so good, but... A damage over time against a centaur is just really difficult because they move so quickly and then they do so much damage with the bow. I thought maybe if he would miss me in the cloud, you know, in the fog, I had a chance, but he was like, nah, I see you. All right. Um, I have beastly appendage, which... One of your tentacles grows a vicious spike. Well, of course. Why not, right? Of 
causes a vicious spike to grow from one of the caster's tentacles, increasing the damage of their extra tentacle attacks. It's not powerful enough to affect tentacles which are already mutated. I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Well, it looks like we're going to just walk around and fight things. Let's see how that goes. I'm sure that goes well with an octopode. Focus on transmuter until spider form. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I killed them. Okay, so... Unarmed combat. You got it. Uh... Almost killed, but we made it. We made it work. All right. And we got killed. Okay. It was a bad start for the uh, transmitter there. This, this, uh, the kobold was more than more than ready for us. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, this is what I I have a tough time with uh, the the pod like that because he we got hit point problems. All right, let me uh, let me turn off spell casting at the very least. It was very quick. Too quick. It was uh, we hardly knew ye. I'll tell you what, though. My stream seems to be going a little bit faster. Take that. All right, we got some spells. Deal with it. That's right, level two. Okay. Well, now the question is... The chat is the real test for the stream, <laughs> Alex. Mm. That's a fair point. I need something to throw. You're right about that. I do. Hmm. Okay, cowboy. Well, we'll just try to get alive. We'll just try to stay... Stay upright. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit before I fight this guy. <laughs> Thank you, Tantalus. I needed that Haystaga. Big time on my router. Alright. <laughs> All that for a one-shot on that guy. I'll take it. Look at that beautiful plate armor just sitting there. Don't do that to me, plate armor. All right, cool. Okay. Dagger of Protection is interesting. I love the animation for... Oh, a buckler is actually not bad, honestly. I know it slows me down a little bit, but I'll take being able to block. Oh, we got pain online. 
everything's coming up, Millhouse. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our appendage up. Where blood? In God's name is this. Transforms some of the caster's blood into that of a werebeast, causing them to occasionally howl uncontrollably. While active, each non-summoned enemy the caster slays temporarily enhances their melee and ranged effectiveness, and killing adjacent enemies also provides minor healing. The bonus only lasts for the duration of a single cast. Retransforming the caster's blood calms the wear spirit and resets the bonus. Huh. There is... This is apparently from a Mountain Goat's song called Werewolf Gimmick from 2015. I was not there for rehearsal. I don't need it anymore. When I show up just in time to pop you can clear the gd floor empty out the locker room let me find my space let him who thinks he knows no fear look well upon my face nameless bodies in unremembered rooms N know how a man becomes a beast when the wolfbane blooms yeah it's pretty much like my motto which is people who look upon my face learn about fear they are terrified life changing All right, we got a scroll and it's identify what potion we got heal wounds that's a good one for us that is a good one for us alright do I even want to memorize wear blood I don't know Hmm. Alright, here we go. And then... Take that. All of you. I'm gonna memorize it. What else am I doing? Oh, there's a ring. It is willpower. Which... Okay, fine. That is a unidentified altar which I'm thinking about worshipping but summon mana viper now that's a good one oh give me these stones just in case I want to throw something <laughs> tantalus no wake up it's a bad dream you're not a werewolf okawaru baby and Okawaru would be Oka Terrible. Uh, <laughs> the thing that's difficult about Okawaru for this character is that all of the gifts would be bad. Now, I don't know if they reworked that, but... Um, let me think about this. What are the powers? Right. Ammunition, weapons, and armor. You can challenge their foes to honorable single combat. That's a good question. So, Space Cookie, I just use um, a playlist that I found on Spotify that's just like... Uh, lo-fi video game music that uh, the artists don't copyright generally. I try to find ones that are okay with you using them on stream uh, without copyright, but it gets harder and harder. And sometimes they will get flagged as copyrighted material if the, uh, the people who the video game the music is from, the video game the music is from, you know, say you can't use it. Like, a lot of Zelda Final Fantasy stuff will just get flagged. God, do I want to go Okawaru? I could increase my abilities. Hmm. 
No. I feel like no. I love Okawaru. But I don't think it's the right one. Hey, hey, Rob. What is up, my friend? Good evening. How you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing? Well, I was doing well, and then I miscast my only spell several times. No, I'm doing okay. We made it. Interesting. I think we go strength, I suppose. I don't know. Indeed, Rob. We're trying to win with this octopus, and we keep dying and dying and dying, and yet, despite that, I still like playing as an octopode. I feel like if I could win with an octopode, it would be an actual, like a real achievement. The kind of thing you put on your tombstone. Here we go. We got spider form. Or, I mean, it's it exists. We don't actually have it. But if we... Alright, so we're going to turn off a bunch of stuff. And just focus on getting spider form. So what we're trying to do is turn this octopus into a spider. Makes sense, right? Last thing we want to be is an octopus. We need to be a giant spider. All I can really do is, is put a big spike on one of my tentacles. Well, there's your red. But we've already gone your red with an octopode and... Well... Oh, this could actually... Here we go. What, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first cast Beastly Appendage. And then I'm going to cast... Um, wear blood. All right, we did it. We killed one. Our bonus slay five. Look at that bonus. And it's fading. It faded, but we we did some good work there. All right, here they come. Oh God. All right, let's pretend this will work again. One, two, three, got him. Wear blood. So, for those of you following along at home, we are an octopus who has used magic to make a spike grow out of our tentacle. And then we used magic to turn our blood into werewolf blood. So we are a werewolf. We're a lycanthropic octopode with a spiked tentacle attacking things. This is truly the stuff of horrors. There we go. We killed that guy. He was really showing me who's boss. All right, let's go over here. Take that. Ooh, yes. Poison darts. Very good. Got it. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this is bad because uh, those guys have reach. Yeah. That's a good question, Rob. And so it's an interesting one. Um, so this game does both. Like there will be shallow water that you can walk through and it will slow your movement. And then there's deep water, which you can't move through unless you are, you know, for example, an octopus. 
or you can fly over. I don't, I think that's fine. I like if you have the option of swimming versus like where water is just you can't go inside it at all, that kind of thing. What about you, Rob? Got him. Whew. Flyers can go over deep water and swimmers can go in deep water for sure. Mm, 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 potion shop. This is nice. How much gold do I have? 121? Okay. One. Purchase this for me. Purchase this also. Uh, we, we just have to have this to stay alive. And then I'll have 22 left. Okay, good. Yep. And I'm going to put this on my shopping list as well as these and we'll remember to come back here when we get more money those are like great because they're free identifications of spells or uh, potions rather there we go transmutation up to level four we're at 36 percent fail on spider form so we're getting there i'll tell you what though rob I've been really wrestling, speaking of water, I've been really wrestling with uh, the water in Underrail, like the Deep Sea Expedition. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting system, but I don't like battling on my jet ski very much. It's very hard for, I can't use my shield, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. And uh, I don't, my jet ski keeps taking damage and I have to repair it. And the pirates are endless. And so it's like, I both really think it's an interesting mechanic and I like it, but then it also kind of uh, gets on my nerves. Well, Trog's interesting, except Trog wouldn't really let me transmute. It would be nice, Rob, because in that way, um, it wouldn't be insta-death if your jet ski gets broken, you know? But I understand that would be a bear to uh, probably program and implement. That is a phantom. That is like a, I can't do anything to that. So let's see, how far away from spider form am I really far? Take that. That's back to the phantom. Don't fight the phantom. Just move away from, oh, it's on us, oh God. I think you're right, Rob. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put on my appendage and uh, put on wear blood and just try to hit this guy. I'm going to have to drink. Yes, killed him. All right. So we were able to stay alive long enough. Now, that's a dead phantom. Hmm. And a dead slug. 
How are we doing? 30% the spider form. Let's try to survive at least so we can get a taste of that spider form. Oh god. This guy's got javelins. You're not supposed to have that, buddy. Yes. Yes, Rob. They used to. Um, but for the most part, players do not... It, it's almost... A, it's very difficult for players to drown in dungeon crawl, but enemies can. So it used to be very much the case, Rob, that if you were confused near deep water your character could just stumble in it and die and drown and it was insta death and it was so bad um, I had very high level characters have that happen to them where they would get confused into the deep water um, you have you used to be able to also uh there were these siren characters that were like, you know, uh, like evil mermaids that would lure you out into the water and they could pull you out into the deep water and drown you. There were also, uh, your flying potion could run out while you were over lava or deep water and you'd fall in and drown. But they've really taken a lot of that stuff out um, because they want to try to eliminate some of those cheaper deaths which I'm in favor of like some of those things were just ridiculous and that's a necrophage that's unpleasant It's a good question, Rob. I cannot remember what happens in in deep water if you run out of flight over top. You you might still die, but I think something else happens. I can't remember. Um, but uh, the game gives you plenty of warning, so you generally are okay. But you can't be confused and walk into it. That won't happen. And the characters that would pull you in the sirens that would lure you they can't pull you into they can't force you into deep water you can't get knocked into deep water in any way at least as far as i understand oh this guy's on me i didn't see that he found me that's not nice okay we killed him life force restored and 26% on transmutation. You know what, though? I bet if I took my shield off, I could go spider form. Let me try that. Nineteen percent. And the shield doesn't really disrupt me too much. I think I'm going to just uh, wear my shield then. You would think so, Rob. I mean, I get it, like, if you're in full plate mail or something, but... We're very poisoned here. Ow. It's a hound. All right, what we're going to do is... We're going to put up this... No barking. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. He's done. All right, we're going down. Ooh, okay, cool. Nah, uh, not cool. I'll pull up one. Fight you solo. Uh, let's pull up this one. Gotcha, okay. Now, uh, it looked pretty nasty there. I'm going to see if I can find a better way in. Okay, yeah, I'll do this for sure. Uh oh. Alright. 
And we'll explore. We got some scrolls. Oh my. Let's go up. Take me up. Um, favorite game for water rules. That's a great question. Mario is pretty good. The swimming in Mario is like the wonkiest thing in the world. It's such a charming, crazy experience. As far as role-playing games go, Caves of Cut isn't bad. You, it just, like, you have a status effect for, like, being wet. It's kind of funny. All right, let's read all these scrolls. Vulnerability. Fog. Blank. Immolation. Fear. Holy Word. Brand Weapon. Enchant Weapon. <laughs> hilarious what about you Rob do you have a favorite for water rules is there uh, one that stands out oh man identify I don't even have any identified items that's hilarious okay and there is an ogre oh cool Rob I'd love to try it out my friend whenever you get something working and feel free, by the way, Rob, if you're not already on our Discord, to uh, to post any working iterations if you ever feel like it uh, there in the creative sharing section. I'm sure people would love to check it out. Or in the roguelike section. I like... So, in general, Rob, my way of thinking about it is this. I don't want water to automatically kill you. I don't like, uh, you know drowning as a realistic way to just instantly lose a character if it's fully my fault and i don't like there's ways that i can prevent it or things that you know i i did bad strategy or something then maybe but i like being able to swim where you know uh maybe you you move like at half speed or something like that i think dungeon crawl actually does a pretty good job of it you know, you attack slower unless you're big or you can swim or you're flying over top of it, things like that. Hmm. Do I want to fight this guy? I don't really think so. I could turn into a spider, though, and see if I could beat him. Yeah, 16%. Let's go for it. Let's see if a spider can beat an ogre, right? Wow. Well. All right, so... I agree, Rob. Okay, uh, let's go for it. I am a spider. Take that. Now, there's a wyvern that I wasn't hoping for. All right, that guy's dead. And we'll take these guys up. I'm going to fight the hound. And oh my god. Well, cowboy, you are 100% right. Spider form is beast mode. I had no idea I would be that strong. Yeah, now I'm just destroying things. All right, let me cha change my macros here, and we're going to just adjust this to be um, like that. How about that? That's what we do. Now, I don't know enough about spider form, but uh, is it something where it's like... If I 
am not... Like, if I wield this mace, it's just going to give me six dexterity, which is good. Just for nothing, right? But if I'm in spider form, does it hurt me that I have that mace equipped? Is it better to be barehanded, or does it not really matter? Gotcha. Wyvern, you tried to kill me, but I got you with the poison. There we go. 10%. The Shining One. Perfect for transmutation. Honestly, TSO might not actually be bad. Does, does the Shining One not allow that, though? Does he think that transmutation is, like, evil or something? I'm not sure about that. I can't remember. No, Iguana. No, you cannot kill me. Ow. Uh-oh. Hey, hey. Cowboy, thank you so much, my friend. I do not. I should get that, though. That's a good idea. Kuro, good evening. Get out of here, you. Orc priest trying to smite a spider. You've got problems. That does solve the problem, though. By the way, uh, Cowboy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry it, it was uh, less intuitive than it could be. Now, I'll tell you what. You get insight into how the Orcish Priest does business. The Orcish Priest kills spiders by smiting them. So whenever it sees spiders, it just smites them. Oh god, that's two ogres. One ogre, oh boy. Yes, I can do it. Oh boy, not this way though. Oh god. No. Oh, shame on you, ogre. Yes. <laughs> you are not too late for the party, Kuro, although I almost died. That was hilarious. Okay. Good. I want to get to the temple. I, I need a I need a god. All right, give me something. What do we got? We got Zen. We got um, Macleb. Ah, Nemolex is interesting. The human. There's Hep. What else you got down here? What else you got? Evelyn. Oof. For some reason, I was really hoping to see a Skywa. I don't know what to do here. Which is the right path? Hmm. Ashen Zari? What are you up to now? I can't... I think they changed her. Let me see what she does now. The problem with Ashen Zari is that uh, I can't. I don't think I can equip enough stuff to curse to make her happy because I am Octopode.
I'm just going to go Nemolex. I always like this. Do it. I can now draw from the deck of power, but I don't have any cards yet. But we're going to get cards. We're going to go get cards, and we're going to be pulling from the deck rapidly without ceasing. 9% uh, for spider form is pretty good. Now, that's all we've got, though, really. All right, let's go down over here. That's a sky beast, so let's just kill it with a spider. You know, it's probably at this point that... uh. Let me see something about the spider. The caster becomes evasive and gains a poisonous bite. Any weapons are melded and casting spells become slightly more difficult. Ice form. Right, right, right. Um, how do I get that? Oh, you're right. I didn't see that for some reason. Cowboy, thank you. Perfect. Yes, but to get it, I'm going to need uh, ice magic. So let's diverge a little bit in there. Hey, Kuro. Good evening, my friend. I don't know if, if the messages are messing up or not. I got your first one, and I, and I said, welcome. You're not too late for the party, but there's a little bit of a delay tonight the internet is not behaving I'm going to turn on ice magic just ever so slightly and check out what we can see all right well unfortunately what we can see is nasty stuff Huh, Kuro, that's strange. Did you find out any news, Kuro, about that job? I died. I got poisoned too much. Uh, that's a shame. I thought I would be able to kill this guy faster. I completely underestimated him. I am the worst. All right. God. Uh, uh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. All right, Octopode. Let's try something else. Let's try a different way to make the Octopode work. Is there a way to make the Octopode work? No, there is not. Exactly, fading. It was going great. And then I got killed by a snake. Yeah, the, I read the description of uh, Spider Form, and it's like, you will become vulnerable to poison. Oh, God, did I become vulnerable to poison. I took way more than I wanted. Delver? <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do Delver just for fun, right? Unarmed Delver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little cash. Never hurt anybody. But you know what did hurt somebody? All right. <laughs> All of those things. So you have to wait all the way till the end of the month, Kuro? Okay, my friend. Well. I wish you the best. I have a good feeling, Kuro. Exactly. It was it was very well calculated. It's 
Hey, cowboy, thank you, my friend. Well, you got it, buddy. We're going all in on the Delvor. I'm going to wear this ring of evasion. You bet. We're going... Oh, my God, no. Uh, well, this is a bad situation. Yeah, first things first. We got a fear. And then, yep, that's a scorpion. All right, let me, is there a way out? Where am I? I'm here. No, all the ways out are, oh my God, look at this. Pincered by scorpions. Delver. All right, we have, no, we have only a few choices here. And here's what they are. Haste, go. Go, Delver, go. go you oh my god how many scorpions are you gonna give me I'm just one octopus I can't handle this <laughs> this is gonna be really short go 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 uh oh uh oh alright let's see here I am no longer hasted Oh, that's interesting how that worked out. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this isn't going well. All right, that was tough. We can do it, though. Oh, I forgot about my... Um, I forgot about my uh, wand. All right, no, we'll do it again. Delver is sweet. Delver is exactly what we should be doing. That was just unfortunate. Give me, um... Mm. No, we still go unarmed. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and map. Oh, God, we're far away. All right. I'm going to have to do some more digging and lean on my stealth. Okay, we're going to adjust our skills. It was fun for a quick run, and it's going to be fun again. We're going all in Delver. We need to be sneaky. We're going to sneak by everything. There's the way up. Hey, a little money, a little scroll work, do it. Hey, magic mapping. Well, look at that. Okay, there's two. Uh... Oh, I could take that sword. There's two altars in here, interestingly enough. Um, Sif Muna. Oh, yeah, definitely. My club loves it, right? Yep. Yeah, do it. Full on. Okay. And then there's the way up down there. I can actually dig through to that. I'm going to do that. We're going to sneak over like this. I'm going to walk down here. And I'm just going to use my uh, wand of digging right there. Oh my god, there's a ring. Resist corrosion. Absolutely essential. Absolutely crucial. Critical piece of survival gear. Uh, right. That's too bad. Um, Get out. Okay, great. We'll take this up. Now, you didn't need to shout. That that was completely unnecessary. Uh, 
All right. Hobgoblin is no joke. I'm running away. I'm running. All right, I got to fight this. Yep, we made it back to dungeon one. We're beautiful. All right, now it's time to actually uh, redo our stuff. All right, so we're going to turn stealth around and how do I want to make this happen? I really have no idea what you even do in this spot. Invocations, I guess. Try to get McLeb power going. Take that. That is a dart slug. That's too hard. Yeah, I guess you're probably right. Oh Lord, here it comes. Let's go, McCleb. I know you love what we're working on here. I have no idea, Kuro. All I can say, Kuro, is that the internet has been very, very strange tonight. Bam. Oh, God. Take that. Got him. All right. After we clear this beautiful floor, it's great as a Delver to get back up to the top and see if you can make it. Now, God, what do I do? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just pretending like I have a chance. All right. Okay, great. So we're going to read some scrolls. Enchant weapon. Sure. Enchant armor, don't have it. Blink, great. And identify potions. Potions are curing, good. Thank you, Kuro, for testing. I'm confused also. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she has a dagger of electrocution. That's not going to be good for us at all. Yeah, we, we're running into a slight little technical difficulty. Um, <laughs> which is we don't have a way to deal damage. It seems bad. No, I can't take that guy. Don't even bother with that guy. Oh, God. Terrence. No, we can't handle that. Uh, let's see. Let's go up this way. Where's the way up? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can beat this dude. Terrence is a little dicier. Gotcha, Terrence. Eat your heart out, Terrence. Hmm. All right. We're okay. Hey, Kuro. Thank you for renewing your membership, my friend. 10 out of 10. That's a good rating. I appreciate that. Oh. Did we finish Dungeon 2? No, we didn't. Let's, let's do that first. Oh, my God. There's Jessica. 
she's got that dagger of electrocution. I just don't feel comfortable. Invocation's sneaking up there. All right, my club. You need to help me out. You need to give me some powers. You know what I could do at this point? I'm a Delver. I'm terrible. Maybe I start putting points into stealth and short blades and stab people. That's strange, um, Kuro. But yeah, six months. That's amazing. Thank you. It is hard to believe it's been that, that much time. All right, we're getting some gold. We'll take the gold. It's always good. And then let's see. All right. All right, let's go, go, go. Okay. Okay. Now we can go down to Dungeon 3. I mean, maybe my plan is then I just roll into Stealth and uh, Short Blades and just become a Stabber. Right? I mean, we got a Stab right there, and we saw the power of it. Uh-huh. Okay. Here we go. Little stabs. Ooh. This weapon shop is covered in blood. There we go. Short Sword of Venom. That'll help. Um, let me star that up. We need just a bit of gold there. 28. And we got it. Terrific. Or, there's a short sword of venom right there. How about that? Well, we don't need to buy one anymore. We just got one. All right. This is all we got. We're, we're being a stealthy octopus and trying to stab things. We got a scroll. We don't know what it does, but we're happy about it. There, you take that, buddy. You're dead. Yeah. Wow, this this is a well fortified area. I mean, it's it's quite literally a fort, so that makes sense. Boy, is there a good way? I'd love to, Kuro. You should be able to, but it's crazy. The way that the game explains it is it takes you um, all it takes you four of your tentacles to walk, and then each thing that you hold takes two tentacles. So I'm holding my sword with two tentacles like an arm, and then if I want to hold a shield, that takes two tentacles. Ooh, hand axe of freezing. Nice. I mean, I'll pick it up, but... So you can't, unfortunately, hold six... Oh, God. Um... Gotcha. Take that, buddy. He had a wand of ice blast. So by closing the distance, we really ruined his day. I can exploit deep water here, but I would need something to throw. And I don't know what I, if I have anything that I can throw. 
there's stones, and that's it. Well, I guess if that's what there is, go get them. Hey, come back here, buddy. Where'd you go? There you go. He didn't see us. Get me all these stones. There you go. And then we can use the deep water as our dream. Uh oh. And the wizard gives us problems. Yeah, that magic dart is no joke. Oh, there's Jessica. Jessica, you're not supposed to be right there by the staircase like that. All right. How is he poisoning me? Oh, he has a tagger of venom. What a tricky guy. Honestly, is it a plus one dagger? I bet it's probably actually better than for me uh, to use than the short sword. Just for accuracy's sake. My stealth is really paying off here. As is my ability to wrap people up with my tentacles. No, don't kill me. I'm a I'm an octopus. How dare you? There is a huge open gate here. Yes, there is. Alright. I wrapped him up. Oh god. Please die. Okay, the poison. My god, man, the poison. All right. So now we have minor destruction. And this actually... Let's see how this goes. How dare you resist? We killed him. So this is the point where... Uh, training our invocations helped out. So Minor Destruction is going to give us a little bit of a nuke. We can almost use Minor Destruction here with the Deep Water to just fight this whole place safely. Oh god, they're not sleeping anymore. They were. Alright, so what we do is just go over here and yep, that was some good destruction. I mean, it just takes a hit point to use this? Seems good. I love this. And there's no piety lost from using minor destruction, so we just lose a hit point, but that's that's pretty negligible, honestly. All right, fantastic. Let's see, oh God. No, let's do this the right way. We're going to cheese this the right way. There you go. An orc is nearby. Oh, yes, there is an orc nearby. No, no, no. Why aren't you going back to the... Oh, you're getting all these stones. No, no, no. We're going to go explore this place. How dare you. Here, I'll show you where you, I want you to take me. Um, up here. I want to go there. There you go. Now, the Knoll Sergeant is a tricky customer. But you know what he probably doesn't like is Ice Blast. And then Destruction, Destruction, Destruction takes care of him. 
destruction. Oop, yep, we blasted through all of these guys. There you go. Level 7. There you go. All right. Here we do. All right, let's take them down. All right, clear. Okay, money. Big pile of money. And there's a null. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. You would only imagine fading. I mean, if the Naga can wear armor, you know, there's got to be something. Right? Uh-oh. Take that. Uh-oh, he's coming. Take that. All right, looks like there's some baddies over here. This is how you do this. Yeah, it does. I mean, like, they do have camouflage, which gives them a bonus to stealth. And the only armor, quote unquote, that they've developed is that their rubbery body absorbs attacks, which gives them one armor class and one evade, which is just not good enough. And you're camouflaged when in or above water, so you get extra stealth when in the water, which is cool, but it doesn't it doesn't add up to, you know, this is a good character. You know what it does though? <laughs> Macleb's minor destruction. <laughs> There it is. I just walked through Scalding Steam, by the way. Excellent work. So this character is a Delver that we started as a joke because I was just dying left and right anyway, so might as well be crazy. And we swerved into the only available class to us, which would be a Stabber. And we're good at stealth. And we don't have any minuses with, uh... Blades. Yeah, Mac is good. Um, fading. So what Mike did was he got 15 runes. And he got crazy. Uh, he did a... Transmuter Octopode of Che. And just, like you know, had insane stats and slowed down the game and went into statue form and basically was able to chew through all of Extended by using statue form to mitigate Torment. And, you know, punch things. Oh, did he die? He didn't finish it? Oh my god, I forgot about that. I thought he made it. Yeah, I don't have enough experience with Che. I should try that at some point, but I really haven't uh, gotten that off the ground either. Oh, he wanted a perfect set of rings. Oh, Was he in like a... That's right, Fading. Was he in like one of those um, ziggurats? Was he just diving into ziggurats? That's hysterical. Oh, and Pan. Yeah, that'll do it. Awesome. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Well, everybody, we made it back from Dungeon 5 with the Telver up to Dungeon 1 and then have cleared down to Dungeon 3. We are a stabber. We don't really have great equipment. We have one ring. 
We have a cool stabbing dagger, but the important thing is we survived, and, you know, I'm just having fun dying and dying and dying, but being an octopode. But anyway, it is indeed uh, my bedtime, and I want to say, everyone, thank you so much for coming out to the stream. I really appreciate it. Great to see you all and play some dungeon crawl. I hope you, wherever you're at, have an excellent evening or day. Fading, Kuro, Cowboy, um, Alex, you too, my friend. Rob, have a great night. Tantalus. Drayden, Crispy Bacon, Weebit, Safid, Space Cookie, Feeple, Victory, Big Bucket, Kuro, Kuro, good night, my friend. Everybody out there, have a great night. Take care.